Hi, this is Andrea from Center for Rumors. I'm back from my hiking trip on the Dolomites. I've been there for a couple of days with my wife. I took a lot of shots with my A7R4 and the Tamron 28-200mm lens, which is a lens I always use when I hike because it's very compact, very light, and it covers uh, the focal length I need. Uh, sometimes I just wish it would be a bit wider, but uh, you can't have everything, and I prefer to hike light uh, than carrying with me a couple of lenses. It was also the last time I took images with the A7R4 because I yesterday I pre-ordered the A7R5 which is coming in sometimes in December or late November if I'm lucky and uh, the reasons why I'm switching to the A7R5 are the following. The first reason why I'm switching to the A7R5 is the new IBIS system which is 2.5 stops better than the E7R4. I expect the difference to not be that big as the number suggests, but uh, even having a slightly better performance allows me to take sharper images and better low light images. The second reason is the new AVF. I never use the LCD screen for my photography. I always look through the viewfinder and having a 9.4 million dot viewfinder is certainly stunning. The third reason is the faster Wi-Fi connection. It takes ages at the moment to download uh, the images from my camera to the smartphone. Um, now it will work much faster. The fourth reason why I'm switching to the A7R5 is the LCD screen which I need for my YouTube videos here on Sonia for Rumors. The last reason is 8K 24P and 4K 60P recording which I need for my documentary work. There's also one big message Sony sent out with the A7R5 launch. Don't expect any 100 megapixel camera anytime soon from Sony. They really don't care about the megapixel race. They don't see the 100 megapixel boundary as something like a holy grail they have to reach as soon as they can. They don't care if Canon and Nikon are going for 90 100 megapixel cameras sometimes next year or, the, or in two years. Uh, they are not afraid of that. They think 61 is enough. I also think it means that the A12 will keep more or less the same resolution when it's released sometimes in one or two years. Uh, so don't expect any 100 megapixel full frame camera from Sony coming out the next three years. We can maybe hope to get some kind of fixed length RX uh, 100 megapixel full frame camera or medium format camera. I certainly see Sony capable of doing that but uh, there's nothing like there's no solid rumor confirming that this is going to happen anytime soon anyway um, this is it for today uh, i kindly invite you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notica notification button because uh, soon i will talk about the next camera models that are coming out in early 2023 and i want to be sure you not to miss those videos see you soon folks